Hello and welcome to the channel. So we are in the Lofkin version that we've uh, been doing for the past few weeks, which we've been filming. We're up to about 25 episodes or something, all the way through. So if you're interested in that, head over to the channel. But what we are doing today, and um, we're going to be filming, we're going to be going through the ensuite you can see just behind me. Um, we're going to be masking that today. We're going to show you how we do it. It is not the only way, it's how we've do, we do it, and we always get good results. The footage you've already seen is the main bathroom that we did yesterday that we didn't get a chance to film because there's a lot going on and we just haven't got time to do it um, because of everything else. So, uh, yes, we'll be going through that. I'm going to show you the what you do at the very start in terms of prepping your area properly, making sure you get the right silicons because um, there's lots of silicons out there. So in this instance, you need sanitary silicon. Just make sure you get as the best one you can afford is what I would say with that one. Making sure you're dust free, making sure you're water free. And the fact, I'll show you the tool that we use that I saw on a channel three, three or four years ago, maybe, from a, a channel called, I think it's called Charlie DIYer. A very in depth um, uh, review of, of this, um, this tool, which is by Kramer, Kramer with a C. Um, and it, in here, it's just a kit of, of all your silicon parts. You've got the bit of remover, you've got blades in there, you've got corners and it's, it's a great tool to have, so we'll go through that. Uh, so, we'll, like I said, we'll go through from start to finish and show the end result, and then hopefully you'll get something from this video. Uh, but like I say, if, you, if you're interested in anything else we've done here, other than just the mastic, then have a look at the channel. There's garden rooms, there's two garden rooms on there, there's loft, there's extensions, so it's all on there. Have a quick look, but anyway, let's crack on with the mastic. This is our ensuite there in the shower. Nice little area, nice little dressing room behind there. Anyway, back to mastic. So let me just pop, come back a little bit. So in here, the plumber's already fitted this and he didn't have time to do the mastic for us. We got him to get him to do other things because we can do the mastic. We just wanted to get this in and done for us. So we're going to be masticking all the all around the edges. Um, I will go through where you should and shouldn't mastic in a shower screen. And then we'll do all around this window as well. So a lot of the prep has already been done, but what you want to make sure you do, if you look in these corners, if we just get my uh, purdy out, hang on. If you haven't got one of these, these are such a great tool, these purdies, excellent. So what you're looking at is the likes of, in this corner, you can see where there's a buildup of, of grout in that corner, and see it sitting on the window, it doesn't look great, and when you put mastic on it, it looks terrible. So you want to make sure you get any lumps off like there as well, in that corner, not great. You get that off, and make sure it's all clean. So when you put your um, silicon bead on, it doesn't um, deform the, the look of your silicon. So that will get that out, and then we'll give it all a, a brush round to make sure it's dust free. And then what you should have on your shower, when you put your tiler comes, which we've got a great tiler, you leave at least a two mil gap under your tile and the reason for that is, is because what you want you want the silicon to go in underneath there not just sit on the face of the tile that's what you shouldn't do so as you can see there's a gap all the way along there which is great so i'll get the the purdy in there and like the likes of that bit there look a bit of silicon just need to get, get all that out look see that's a bit of a, a packer that he's put there look so we'll just get that in there and dig all that out so that's what you have to do, make sure it's completely clean, 100% clean, under there. And then when it is, give it a dust, dust out, get a hoover out, which I haven't got my hoover today, typically, but uh, the, he has done the majority, I'll just give it a bit of a dust, make sure all the, all the bits are out, and then we'll go through the next stage, which is um, preparing your mastic gun, your nozzle, and then we'll have a quick look at this kit that we've got before we start applying any mastic. So I'll do a bit of a clean and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there.
is what you want to achieve. So you want it all nice and clean. Um, you need to make sure, and I'll show you more on that one, if you look at that one now, that's nice and clean and there's no grout or nothing in there at all now. Because what you don't want to do is when you're using the tool I'm going to show you, you run it across the grate and it's in little bibbles and it puts a horrible finish to your, to your, uh, to your mastic. But that's, that's just easier for me to show you on the window prepping that than it is to get inside that quad. Um, so I'll clean that out and I'll just show you a bit of a shot of that, I'm not going to do it you're not going to see anything if I try and film a bit of uh, time lapse and the um, this whole us going back to time lapses has come from a few comments that we asked the question about time lapse and we had quite a few responses on a lot of our videos recently with regards to some people like it if it's the means to show in the end to something um, if you're just doing nothing in particular but I'd like to think that that one me showing you how bad it was and showing you the finish and what you do then that that's what you're asking for Little bit of music we've asked for that as well, but put some music over it as well. So, uh, yeah, again, comments if you thought not nah, waste of time, let us know. We uh, we like your comments, not necessarily the bad ones, but you take it, you know, take it good with the bad, I suppose. But a uh, bit of bit of a bit of abusive lately, some people. But don't listen to the need if you don't like it, then don't watch it. Why be abusive to people that you don't know? Anyway. So I'll, uh, like I said to you already, I'll clean all this out now, so this is all nice and tidy, um, and then we'll give it just give it a dust out with the old brush like I've just showed you, and then we'll uh, discuss where we are with the mastics. Okay, I've been lazy. I've had to go and fetch my Uber. Uh, all that there, and against I've scraped it all, all round there, and all under there all that lot it just needs hooving there's little bits of metal fire so when they when they drilled the screen in place it's going to be hooved it's just a better finish so i'll hoover that up now and then we'll we'll carry on If you caught it on the uh, time lapse and the video footage there, but it's what I will say is it's, it's key to get good results is you've got to prepare it right because slightest bit of grout or slightest bit of dirt or dust gets in the white white um, mastic, it's game over because you're going to get it out, but then you have to start putting it back in again. And if it started to skin over, it causes all manner of problems. So, especially in the shower tray, like you saw me in there, because I especially in there. Get, the, get a little brush under it and give it a really good brush out and hoover it as many times as you can. Because what will happen is, as soon as you start putting grout in there, I can guarantee to you, you'll start putting your mastic, sorry, pull it all the way through and it'll just pull some dust out. I can guarantee it, it happened to me because I just thought, oh no, that'll do, that'll be all right. No, make sure you prep it as best you can. Any lumps, any dust. And also, when you start to do it, because you're doing this and then you're doing the floor as well, start above yourself because what you don't want to do is do that and then or a little bit of dust there and just do that and then think oh and it drops on that so do this first so you know it's clean and then check this again a bit of a dust again before you start and then do it uh, methodically if you can so what i'll probably do now is i'll probably do that first all this window then i'll do in here and i can come out so i don't put my feet or dust into this then I'll do this, I'm gonna do that around there, that tool's gotta to come out again. Um, we think the pan connector's leaking, but anyway, we'll sort that out. We're gonna mastic that all the way around here, mastic to there, and then I'll mastic from there around here, and then that's me out, and I'm not touching my mastic or kicking it just up in the air. So I'll try and work methodically, that's what I will say when you're doing this. Um, it's easy for me to say that. Uh, I'm not a mastic person, I'm these mastic companies out there that do this for a living, and they're brilliant at it. So that all the methodical work is already in their mind. So you just gotta, you have to think it through a lot more when you're doing it, you don't do it all the time. Uh, but it's the same with everything, isn't it, if you don't do it all the time. So let's have a look at doing some masticking, um, finally, uh, and we'll see, uh, see what results we get. Let's have a quick look at this, uh, this kit then. So, so this, I saw this a few, a few years ago now on uh, Charlie DIY channel and thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. I yeah, I don't really like masticking, if I'm honest, because it's always quite a painful process for me. Um, but 
I bought this and thought I'm going to give it a go and this is last ditch attempt to mastic and after that, let's forget it, I'm not doing it ever again. However, this is great, I've used quite a lot now. It comes, this kit that I've got, um, comes a bit of a, a tool to scrape your, your grout out. There's a couple of blades in there as well. There's all different size um, tools and things. These, um, I think they sort of clip on, if I get this out one handed, like that. They clip in there like that and they sort of aid you if you if you haven't just to try and keep it keep it square so if you're doing that oh don't guess i in shot you know that that sort of keeps you sort of 90 degrees if you like but when you're doing things like this where there's a bit of a, a camber on the on the um on the tray and what have you it, it just gets in the way a little bit but it is great if i mean i might use it on here just to show you it is great it just stops you sort of tilting tilting it backwards and forwards and therefore ruining your joint but um so yeah, they are quite good, and I may, so I so I'll leave one out and I'll show you. But if you want to have a look at these, uh, they are a great piece of kit. I got mine off Amazon, you might get them cheaper somewhere else, but I got this off Amazon. Great, and honestly, they really are worth the investment. Okay, so things you have to do first, obviously choose your silicon. I'm going to show you silicon I've got because I'm obviously not sponsored or anything, so um, you can pick which one you want. But in terms of cutting your nozzle off, square, not angled square but you cut your nozzle off uh, in relation to the size of the um, the finished bead that you want so let me just put the camera on the tripod and I'll show you what I mean I found that uh, a 7 mil on these so they're all numbered all the way around the edges um, is gives the finish that I want depending on what gap you've got to fill because sometimes certain tiles they, they may have cut it a bit, bit too bit too big or a bit too small should I say and you've got to do a bigger gap but 7mm looks tidy doesn't look like you've, you've put it on with your thumb so what you have to do though and this is a bit weird I've already, I've already cut this off so I've already used it downstairs as I've already told you so all you do is you cut it off square first of all but what you do you look at the, the actual size of your bead you've got which is there and then you cut that if you can see that in like the same width as your what you're going to be doing so this is number seven i have done in the past when i've been doing a lot and you in an enclosed space you can get a bit more which way it is so on this you'll see i put, put a little bit of a black dot just to make sure that I, I go back to the right one when you're looking it you know it's a bit dark and you can't see it uh, in fact when i use it in the garden room i did that because it, i hadn't got a light like i've got now um and it was a bit dark in there so uh so yeah that's what i do so you cut it off to suit that and then you move on to the process I'm going to show you now. So I'm moving on to applying your mastic now. So you've done all your prep, you've hoovered it, you've brushed it, you've cleaned it, you've actually it all right. I've mentioned about starting from the top, it's what I like to do. I think it makes sense to me. Start from the top, work your way down. So you're not knocking any, any bits that fall out when you're doing this, it doesn't fall on the mastic you've already done. Plus, if I'd done the floor first, I'd probably put my feet in it and guarantee I would put my feet in it. So, um, get your gun. Get a bit of a towel just to wipe any excess off. Always have that handy. But this is the thing I haven't mentioned so far. But you may have got it from the thumbnail maybe. Depending on what thumbnail I use. There's zero water. I've got no water at all here. I don't use water. If you need to, if, if you get a bit of a blemish in your... Say, I'm going to use the word blemish. If you get a bit of a bump in your mastic, then a little bit of water on your finger or you know whatever. And then just, just touch it in nicely. Um, but you, you won't need it, honestly, you can, I'm, doing, I'm not going to stop the camera, I'll show you what I'm doing, and then I can show you exactly how these work, because these are made of that sort of silicon based, the, the silicon just comes off it, it doesn't stick to it, which is great. So let me just uh, apply some mastic, and I'll show you. So the first thing you've got to do is make sure that you are um, at 45 degrees to what you, to the, this, where you're putting it. You don't want to be doing this or this, you want to go there square, which is why you have it square, to make sure you force all the silicon into the corner. Now I know this is these corners are quite corners are quite tight, but this is more more um, important when you do your shower because you've got to force the mastic into that gap that you formed while leaving your tiles up. So I'll go across here first. So you put that on there, start your mastic off. So you just see it coming out, which you won't see on the camera, you just run it nice and steady. All the way across, again, I'm going top first. I know I normally stop and then start from the corner again and then work my way out of the corners, like that. So, 
Then I'll do across here because I'm not going to form a corner. Bit of a pain, but still. And then I'll do in this one. Okay, so I'll do that first. So I've already said, put this down in the way. I've already said that um, we've picked which one we want and I'm going to go for 7mm again because I quite like the 7mm. So you just get this, in fact I'll show you how this works. You clip that onto there like that and you can go onto any side and then you just put that in there. I think it stops, stops you going right in your corner, that's why I tend not to do it but okay, I'll take it off. So you go into your corner, try to touch your back mastic, so keep an eye on that and then you just drag it, keeping it nice and square and upright like that, nice and steady. Try and keep a continuous movement. Then when you come to the end, just give it a bit of a flick and tidy it off like that. And let me just wipe that before I put it down and get mastic everywhere. And I'll show you the result that we've got. See, it just wipes off nice and easy. And this is the result that we've got. Just, I don't want to take it off the, uh, the tripod. Let me just zoom in there. So as you can see there, that's what you get. You get a, a V. Uh, or a, a, an angled bead, rather flat bead, and what that does is, let me try to put my camera back so I can continue talking to you. Okay, okay, that's right. So what that does now is, is it, it gives you a, a solid, a, um, solid, gives you a, a full mastic bead there now, um, and I hope the the footage gives it justice of how good that that finish is. Um, and of course it's easier if it's a flat tile. I referenced the garden room earlier that we did. We did the garden room and it was like a ridged tile and it was a bit more of a faff. But it would be if you used your finger or a bit of stick. But this just made it easy because you can use this then to sort of to sort of run through and get all the bits of mastic off as well. And then you just wipe it off really easy. So you haven't got to wet it. I won't put no water at all on that. I won't touch it. Uh, other than if I get a bit of a, a point where, like if you, when you bump over your grout, um, I just tend to, to twist it a little bit just to, to I'll try and get it over the grate without it dipping and coming in again. So I'll just do this one all the way around here. I'll do all down there these edges and across the bottoms and I'll show you the, um, the completed bit in a minute. I'll put a bit of time lapse on and I'll get on with it. So I've done that now, and I am my worst critique if I'm honest, but I'll just see if I'll make it to turn the lights on. So that is done now. I'll just tidy it up a little bit. I'll take a bit of grout in there, so I'll get that off. So like I say, that gives you a nice, a nice clean bead, and there's no water at all. Oh, okay. So what you do with that? What you do with this look? A little bit of moisture on the finger. Gone. Uh, corners, I struggle with, really struggle with my corners. So whenever you're out there that's silicon all the time. Stick in the comments, mate, please. Corners, struggle a little bit. And when I'll do that, I just generally touch them with a wet finger. Um, just sort of tuck them and sort of dab them into, to get them all in like that one over there. So that's that one done. It doesn't take long at all. So, but that is relatively easy. That's flat, it's square, it's all good. So that's that one done. So I'm gonna move into the shower now, which is a little bit more difficult. I'll take my shoes off, get myself in the shower, close the doors, um, and uh, we'll have a look at that. But what I will go through first is things you should and shouldn't do when you're doing a shower screen. Okay, so most manufacturers stick it in the, stick it in the um, instructions now, but what you shouldn't do you shouldn't silicon the inside. Oh, pardon me. Just had my dinner in a rush. Um, you shouldn't silicon the inside of your screen. Always the outside. And the reason for that is, which I've learned over the past couple of years, 
is you, what you can do, if I just get in here a little bit, what can happen is, I'll put myself inside the shower, you will, your silicone across here, your silicone to up to that point where the frame stops there, and then what happens is, is if if you get water in into there or into there, which can happen, it's got nowhere to go, that's what causes your mould, so what you've got to do is, do the outside, so at least if it got in there, it could go down to the tray and come back into the, into the uh, down the screen and back into the tray, sorry. So that's why you don't do the inside. So at least if something does get into the um, into the glass or whatever, even though it can, like I said, down there, it can get down there over the years. Um, that's why you don't do, oh, I'll get myself back out. You don't do the inside of your tray. So I'll do the perimeter all the way around with some clear silicon, around there, white on the floor to the tile. And then we'll do white inside the shower, up that corner, which will be a bit of a pain, down the side of that shower unit, but, uh, but there we are. And then I'll do it in here. I'll give it a last turn of the wipe out again, before I start. As I said earlier, it's just best to do that. And then we'll uh, see how that one goes. I'm not going to time lapse this one because it's, it's just mastic and it's, you won't see anything because I've got to get inside now. I'll give this a bit of a wipe, a bit of a dry wipe and uh, off we go. I'd like to excuse the noise, Adam's here doing some spraying at the first floor ceilings for the customer. A little bit of a surprise, but there we go. I hope she liked it. So that's done. All the way around. And I'd like to say, of course I'm biased. It keeps refocusing, sorry. But that is a nice clean bead all the way up. I even managed to get a nice clean bead down the side of the shower as well because the only thing I did have to do was I had to change oh bit of mastic there oh crap okay panic over um, there was a little bit of mastic on the wall and I pretty touched my fingers in the mastic so like I say that's um, all I had to do on that one was change that to an 8mm down there from 7 because I got this little one out and it's got an eightman on it, not a seven. So I did the rest in seven, but I mean one though, you can't see that. And that luckily went just down the side of the shower there. Which... And you went your mastic again. Just see that. Just it just enough to get my fingers down there. So that worked really well. So I'm pleased with that. So what we'll do now is we'll move on to the clear down there. And then we'll go around there with the white, like I said, from that corner, and I'll work my way out this way to there. Now, what I want to do now, just turn my microphone around as well as turning the camera around, so you can hear me, because the noise downstairs. Oh, there we go. Right, there's a reason you don't use water at all. Apart from the fact you don't need it with these, um, it's the fact that if, you, if your tiles aren't dry, silicon won't adhere. It won't, won't adhere to the tiles at all properly and you end up with a bit of a void, and that's where you get, um, when you start to get mould on your silicon. First of all is you've used your finger, so you've caused like a, a sort of concave sort of um, bead with your finger, and then it, it ends up with a very fine piece of silicon touching the tile at the top, and that's what comes off, unlike the bead that we've got now, that bead, which is solid all the way in, a full triangle of mastic all the way in solid, um, so if you, were to, if you were to rip that out when it's dried, which you'd have to knife it out, it, it'd be in a triangle. So there's no sort of thin areas where it's going to start to peel away and get um, water down the back. And that's when you get mould and all the black horrible bits in the shower. Um, so I've done a few, a few showers now with this, a few areas, and I've never been called back. So if you are on the market for some mastic tools, have a look at these. Now, we're not being funded by them, we're not being sponsored by them, nothing at all. They're just, we're here just to help people because I'm not a mastic person and I need help, a little bit more help to try and get it right for people. Um, because we like to do things ourselves so we know we can quality control it all, should we say, when we do things ourselves, majority anyway. Obviously things like electrics and plumbing, you can't obviously, certain stages of that anyway. So I'm babbling on now. So I'm gonna continue with this all the way around here. And then when I've done, we'll uh, give you a bit of a, a look round and, and then we'll uh, wrap up this video. Right, I'm all finished. I have to excuse the, the light, it's starting to flash, which means the battery's about to go. Um, so I've done 
all around there, that's all nice and tidy around there, underneath where the edge is going to be, and so I haven't done that all across the back yet because uh, I've just got a sort of pan connector out, but all in the shower is done as I've already showed you, that's all around there, this is all done around here, all nice and tidy, I have to join the, hey up. That's the ones at the bar. I'm going to join the white to the clear there, so that's why it's sort of stepped over to the tray, because it's clear all around there and up, up there, so I've had to join that. But yeah, there we go, that's all all there, like that. And I think that's a nice tidy job. So, right from the start, um, prep, make sure you prep it right. Um, I've got a couple more bits to do, which I'll do. I've got the inside the frames to do, and I'll do that over there. Um, I'll do the inside of the frame so when I do that over there around the toilet and then I'll do all around the toilet as well. But uh, that's it, that's it for this video. Um, Rotor right Portal, we've got to leave and look at another job quickly now um, before uh, we finish the day. So we'll go myself and Adam will go and do that. He's just outside there, look, just clearing his, uh, his bucket out from spraying. That's what Adam's doing. So as I say, I'll finish there now. I hope you've got something from this video. Um, the I've just looked at the footage when I mentioned about showing the footage downstairs but the, the light is that bad um, you can't see anything so I mentioned at the start of this video about showing the footage that's why I haven't because I've checked it halfway through filming this and it's rubbish what I might do is I might put depending when this airs if the electrics have gone on I might show it at the end of this video instead so it all ties in nice with the electrician so right, okay well thank you very much for watching um, don't forget to head over to head up. Don't forget to head over to the channel and have a quick look at uh, on our lovely our lovely loft that we've got going on. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And uh, thank you very much for watching.